Hey, Shift Yes Tribe. This week we are talking about how to give and receive feedback specifically. Uh, and I'm using a model that I learned from one of the most brilliant uh, HR minds in the business, Tina Radicke. Uh, here it is. So last week we talked about um, building a culture of feedback and the mindsets around approaching feedback as an organization and environment. And uh, I wanna talk about technically how do you give and receive feedback in an easy way because a lot of times the, you know, it's a delicate topic because feedback is not an emotionally neutral space for both people. Either if you're giving feedback or you're receiving feedback, it can just, it can be a delicate topic to approach. Um, and so creating familiar language that's common, that makes it easier, that gives us some something to practice. Um, because we, it takes intention. We're not born naturally great at giving or receiving feedback. It's something that we have to talk about, have some tools, and, and like I said, common language to approach it. So a nice way to frame feedback is with just three simple questions, which are, what am I doing great? Where do I get stuck? And how can I be even better? And uh, right, so like what's going well, what needs work and improvement, and what does real success look like? What does a 10 out of 10 look like? And the reason that we frame it like that is to keep it succinct, right? And create familiar common language for everybody as we build a culture of feedback. But um, approaching it that way has, has some benefits, right? We start with what's going well, what's great, what are you doing great, what am I doing great? Asking for that feedback because we want to reinforce good behavior and also acknowledge progress and growth and successes that we've had. It's important to celebrate success uh, and and also prove and demonstrate that we are coming from a place of care. This is what I think you're doing great. Uh, you know, asking like, what am I doing well? Um, to start with that. Number two is the, you know, where do I get stuck? What are my blind spots? Um, that is the most sort of key part, which is I think these things are getting in your way. This is where I think you have a blind spot or can improve. Um, important to be just succinct, succinct direct, and honest uh, with that. And then number three, uh, how can I do even better? Which is sort of what does a 10 out of 10 look like? What What does, you know, Ideally, in the future, what does improvement look like? Uh, what is my experience as an employee that would identify it like this is a 10 out of 10? Which is important because if we're just giving somebody a task or an objective and then giving them feedback along the way without saying clearly this is what a 10 out of 10 looks like, um, we, we don't get there as fast as if we know specifically what that is. And I think that's important for leaders, especially with your team to say, hey, uh, this is what a 10 out of 10 looks like, just so people know what mark that they're shooting at and they have crystal clarity with that. When we use this framework of these three questions, it also helps us build accountability, right? And move from coaching as criticism into coaching as feedback, because we're saying this is how you can improve, this is what gets in your way, um, but to build accountability. And I think the, like, 2.0 level of this is to start to ask people to ask answer these questions themselves, right? If we consistently use that as our framework for feedback, then when I go to my employee and they have a bad experience with a customer or they make a mistake that needs to be addressed or there's just an opportunity for some coaching, I can ask them to answer those questions of themselves, right? And be self-reflective, which is what do you think you did great? Where do you think you got stuck? Um, and, and how can you do that differently and better next time? Because when you ask people those questions, they have answers to that, right? When we were given an opportunity to self-reflect, we know the correct answer. Um, and we start to build accountability in people to ask those questions of themselves um, because it's consistent. It's how we approach feedback. And so building that in your team and in your employees where people start to ask themselves those same questions. What did I do great? Where did I get stuck? You know, what, what can I do better next time uh, is really important. So it's just a really nice package of, of feedback that giving and receiving that if we create that as a common language will make it so much easier for us across the board.